now we see the equation for the derivation of equation for the center of pressure uh, this is also called as uh, pascal's law okay so let me draw the diagram for you this is z axis this is y axis and this is x axis this is a point a similarly this is point b this is point c i will join these three points and this is form a tetrahedron and this is point o so now there will be forces will be acting on it let us consider it in the z axis so the p bar z what is p bar z p bar z is the pressure exerted by the rest of the fluid on the area cob similarly you take this one p bar and this makes an angle theta so now as you know very well that this is a static fluid so the summation of forces in acting in a particular direction is equal to zero because there is no moment is there so first of all try to resolve this uh, equations okay this p bar so i will draw this one p a b c and then cob cob will be a line like this and a b c will make an angle like this we make a angle like this and he has given that this angle is theta so now our force our pressure p bar will be acting perpendicular to this this is p bar so i will extend this so this is 90 degrees so this will become 90 minus theta now i will draw a vertical line like this and i say this is 90 so this will become theta means what this line will be making theta with the vertical line so now i say when i draw this line this will become theta why i am doing this because i wanted to resolve p bar even in the vertical direction and horizontal direction also so now since i am considering my focus only on that direction let us try to resolve all the forces which are acting in this particular direction so now we have to consider even the area of abc also so area of abc will makes an angle which is also making an angle theta with this one so suppose if i write area of cob area a r sorry area of cob is equal to area of area of abc into cos theta because this is also making an angle theta so now what i want i want area of abc i want so area of cob is what cob is already given so this is delta a sorry and this is uh, delta y and this is delta z so cox is given by what this distance and this distance half into base into height this is delta x this is delta y so cob area is what half into delta x into delta y okay this cos theta will come this denominator so here i write cos theta so this will become what a r e a area of a b c now i know this so let us resolve all the forces now you know there is a gravitational force will be acting in the downward direction which is given by fg now you know how to resolve it that is p bar z and where it is acting it is acting on plane cob so area of cob is equal to what half into delta x into delta y now p bar z is acting from the top so here if you resolve this force one will come downward direction one go like this so this since it is coming downward direction i will take it as minus minus p bar and uh, what is this component cos theta into what is the area for this one just now i said half into delta x into delta y by cos theta none 
f g is also acting down minus f g is equal to 0. So, now I am not making any modifications in this and we know this is equal to 0. Now, the concept is what? When this plane A B C is merging towards the center, what will happen sir? The delta x, delta y, delta z will be vanishing and even f g will be becoming 0. So, when you say this one what will happen? This, this force, this will be this will be vanishing and then you will have all these values are decreasing. So, cos theta cos theta will get, get cancelled. So, you will have only p bar z minus p bar is equal to 0. Okay. What did I say? When this plane A B C is moving towards the center, what will happen? Delta x value decreases, delta y value decreases, delta z value decreases. Apart from that, what will happen? Even the f g will become 0. So, f g will become 0. So, delta y get, get cancelled and you have half of it will get cancelled. You have p bar z minus p bar y is equal to 0. So, now this is for z direction. Similarly, for y direction p bar y minus p bar is equal to 0 and uh, we have x direction p bar x minus p is equal to 0. So, we can write if you take this all equation then it will become p bar x is equal to p bar y is equal to p bar z is equal to p bar. So, this is the meaning of Pascal's law which states that in a particular fluid if you take any one particular point the forces exerted in all the directions will be same and forces and when the area is small what will happen we can also call it as the pressures also okay because uh, pressure is equal to force per unit area so area on which this is acting it will be same as long as the fluid is static so this is called as the pascal's law or in our case it is called as the center of pressure conditions okay sir this is the proof